Hello, hello. So instead of your typical introduction, we're going to do a little something different today. Tonight, tonight, it's dark. We're going to do a little something different tonight. We're going to switch it up. We're actually going to make um, some mac and cheese. And it's not just any mac and cheese. It's Dasher Charms mac and cheese. Duh. So, um, yeah. Um, doing this because this is a family recipe that we've been using for a really really long time it's really really simple if you guys know anything about pasta or anything like that pasta dishes are typically the most simple and easiest to make all you have to do is make the pasta and then throw in you know some sauce and some vegetables and you call it a day that's it that's pasta For the most part pasta is pretty simple which is why i decided to add it to this video so i've got the water going i want to go ahead and put this on medium high heat and the reason we want to do that is because we want to bring it to a nice boil um after it's done boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add the pasta. Once I add the pasta, I'm going to let it boil for about eh, six to eight minutes, give or take. I'm also going to feel for it with a fork to see if it's soft enough to my liking. And if it is and ready, I'm going to go ahead, strain it, dump it in the strainer, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna... So this is how much water that I have here actually sitting in my pot. Go ahead, put it on medium high heat, like I said. Don't forget to place a cover on it. And when you are done, we're gonna let this boil come to a boil. I'll let you guys know when. Then we'll go ahead and come back. All right, did y'all catch everything that I was saying? Cause I was trying to make a good point here for this. All right, so basically pasta, super simple, super easy. Do I eat a lot of pasta? No. Why am I making this dish? Because it's a family favorite, damn it. And you're gonna enjoy it. That's why I'm making it. All right, all right, all right. It's to a boil. This is what a boil looks like, okay? Can y'all see that? All right, so. Now it's at a boil um, and I turned it back down. Well, I turned it to medium in general. But anyway, it's cooking right now. I did three cups. Don't forget that pasta expands. Um, so you could do however much you want. Um, like I said, I'm doing three cups. I'm cooking for two. So about six to eight minutes. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll wait on that. One thing I did want to mention is to stir your pasta. Stir it occasionally. And the reason I want to say that is because especially the elbows, they tend to stick together. Um, so you just want to stir that and make sure it's a good, nice mixture. And that's all. All right, guys. So our mac and cheese is soft enough. We're going to go ahead and take this and strain it, okay? Two tablespoons of margarine all right we're gonna go ahead and let that melt down so first we're gonna go ahead and let that margarine melt down it is two tablespoons worth of margarine and I placed that on low medium heat I also forgot to tell you guys at the very beginning of this recipe that we're gonna go ahead and place the oven on 350 it's okay it's not too late to do it I just forgot to mention it um, this is going to go in the oven because we're going to have a nice creamy um, mac and cheese mixture. Right now we're making kind of like our sauce or cream. It's going to be really good. Okay, so we're back. Um, the margarine is actually melted down. Now we're going to go ahead and add our fourth cup of flour. Here we go. We've got a fourth cup of flour. Two cups. A half a cup. Stir that in there so this mixture is smooth. I know it's like kind of chunky. And I can't forget to let you guys know to add this salt and pepper as well. 
go ahead, get quite a bit of salt in here, and grab your pepper. That is to taste as well. And two cups. All right, so that's the second cup of cheese, y'all. All right, so go ahead and stir this. That was our preheated oven going off. Go ahead and stir, stir, stir. All right, so here we have our strained pasta. We're gonna go ahead and take my small pan here that I have because I'm only cooking for two. So I'm gonna take this pan, pour the pasta out into the pan. Oops. Go ahead and even it out. All right. Okay, everybody, so for the second part, I've got my pan here, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and take 1 8 cup of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the olive oil right now. So I'm actually just gonna pour this olive oil in right now. I'm gonna place it on medium high heat. I'm gonna place it on medium high heat, let that warm up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and then add my yellow onion. It's a quarter of a yellow onion and a clove of garlic. So it should be ready to go, it's been about a minute is about a quarter of a yellow onion and one clove of garlic. And take a separate spatula, go ahead and let's saute that for about two to three minutes. Okay, so this is going add bell pepper in here we're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms of mushrooms gonna go ahead and add that in there adding the second tomato now right gonna take our sausage this is just regular hickory smoked sausage so now we're gonna go ahead and turn our pan off it looks like everything is cooked all right I'm gonna go ahead place the vegetables in here with the pasta all right our cheese sauce just go ahead get that nice in there I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more salt in there because it's a medley of pasta, just a little bit more salt, pepper. I'm gonna be going ahead and taking some parsley. Mm -hmm. I really like basil and oregano. Because oregano is normally for pasta and it's Italian. Go ahead and put that in there. Sprinkle to taste. I'm gonna grate some cheese on here. That is just about enough. You can never have too much cheese though, we all know that. This is it. This is the pasta. I about ran out of aluminum foil, so this is gonna kinda be a little ghetto, but this is just enough to cover this transfer it to your oven all right y'all this is the part of the night where i talk about what's going down what's gonna happen so we put the macaroni and cheese in the oven on 350 and i put it in there for 20 minutes the reason i'm doing 20 minutes on this um i'm actually want to do a little bit less so i might check them pretty soon after 15 minutes actually the reason that i'm doing it um so little is because we already cooked everything so we just want it all we want the entire mixture to come together and um, we want the cheese sauce to cook in there with it as well so once that is done i'm gonna go ahead and take the aluminum foil off because we sprinkled cheese on top i'm gonna take the aluminum foil off of it and then cook it for another 20 minutes because i want that cheese to harden on there and get that golden crispy brown look so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, tell me your thoughts, tell me your opinions. 
Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. If you think it sucks, write that it sucks. Like, and if you think it's great, tell me that it's great. Message me. I wanna hear about your thoughts. I wanna hear about your opinions. I want you guys to try this. This mixture, honestly, the longest part of this mixture or just the hardest is probably the preparation. I mean, it's just because it's quite a few vegetables and herbs. But other than that, like once you're done with that part, you just pop it in the oven and it's over. Like that's it. So pretty simple in my opinion, a little bit more towards the intermediate side. But again, had to put this up, had to share this. This has been in the family for a hot minute now, thanks to Mama J. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow my Facebook, my Instagram, and LinkedIn. Again, please comment, like, share. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.